Now, let's look at this. Because, you know, sometimes you would be interested to know why did the person uh, come up with, the, with, with such, such parent? And uh, when you sit down and think, you, because uh, parables or the things that we speak about will be always be related in um, uh, places in the environment where we grew up. And uh, some of the things I'm, I, I am, I'm what I am because of the environment and the people that I grew up with and whatever maybe I'll come up as a parable or whatever is a joke will be influenced by the fact that then there were these people who grew up with me and also the environment thereof. Now let's look at, at Jesus. Now. now Jesus, yes. she grew up in the Palestine environment. Now Palestine natural is naturally a land of Now Palestine natural is naturally a land of hills and mountains. As a result, it is subjected to violent rains and sudden floods. So also, then we hear about the Jordan River. Uh, annually, it swells to dangerous levels and becomes rapid and furious. Yeah. Then the streams that run through the hills can suddenly swell with rain and spill tremendous amount, um, a tremendous amount of water onto the plains below and sweeping everything before them, coming from that you know, the mountain. mountain. Hey. So, if you look at I mean, Jesus, he, he didn't just pick up that parable. He picked up a parable that he knew that they were familiar with what was happening in the area. So houses that were erected in, within the reach of this uh, sudden, I mean, uh, whatever floods, whatever they were happening in the area. Especially those founded on the sand. It does not, they did not necessarily mean that there was no foundation. Let me just wonder. It means that the, the, the climate in that area or the, the, the it was sand I mean, around the plains. So even if you build you put a foundation, but still that foundation is in a sandy soil. So it means that foundation is unreliable. Cannot stand the test of those floods. So I want you to, to, to just have a picture of, of, of what is happening. So the rising stream shakes its foundation when it comes. And it rolls away the sand. And, the, and the specifically the base until it falls. So those floods coming from the mountain, they erode, we know about soil, soil erosion. They erode the, that sand around that house. Until the house, the foundation is, is, is bare. Then it is going to be swept away. Now, with the same breath, in the very same area, rocks are common there. In that area. However, so it is not hard to find a solid foundation for a person who's not lazy. So for, for those people who just want to uh, let's go quick get what, what skill. It's easy. So with this in mind, 
that. Jesus concludes the sermon on the mount by illustrating the benefit of obeying his words. It is not enough he says, it is not enough to hear the words. They must be obeyed. A man's character is like a house. Everybody's character in this place. It is truly a house. Every thought is like a piece of timber. Every thought that is going through your heart now, it's a piece of timber that is contributing to the strength of, the, of your house. Every habit is a beam. And every imagination it's a window. All those things that you begin to imagine, you see, you only see them alone. What's your window? First layer. That is why when we speak about the gate, because nobody just falls in one day. I come to one go suku olun. A house is built up in such that it has got openings and it has got windows, it has got doors, it has got everything in it. It we are going to show all about even the minyang even the first layer na yo yonge ido ibe kon. And you cannot just get into the house through the wind. Our first layer na ge first layer di. But there are things that and you cannot come out of the house through the wind. But you can see things through the wind. And those things that you see they can begin to affect your, your, your life. How you imagine things. But they have never entered physically your yard. You only saw them. And you were curious enough to meditate on them. And also to say what next. They never trespassed and came into your house. You invited them by your attention, by the fact that you gave them your attention. When I tell us, Mamma Goba Uznike, the attention yako. That's the house. In Tugaleo. It is made up of those things. Yeah, Kwangas was into airs. In other words, imagination, your window, your imagination, I mean, acting as a window. Well or badly placed. Okay, in Abang Shambi, position the first in the end I will write. Depending where the position of the face is of the All the things that, that you see. Osbonayo. People Abantu. They don't backslide. Abawi. Because Uba. Something just jumps or just jumped on them. It's a process. The process.